Welcome to Dr. Jalil Photography. You can see this is a computer monitor. This one is out of order. I have to throw it out. Everybody throw this out of order monitors in the garbage, but I don't put them in the garbage. Rather, I'll bring out some materials from inside which will be very much beneficial for my tabletop studio photography. I have already uploaded several videos long time back, but today I'm going to make a new episode. Today I'll be showing step by step opening of this monitor and I'll show you what are the materials I can use from this monitor for my tabletop studio. If you are new in my channel and if you do tabletop studio photography, or tabletop, macro photography, indoor, and also uh, I can use some of the material in outdoor photography as well. I'll be showing in this video every details of the materials, what I can use and how I can use. Please keep watching and please keep watching until the end. You will be surprised to see what materials I can get out of this monitor. All you need is screwdriver or maybe some, I've, I've got a set of screwdriver here, but I don't, I only need a very small one and let me open it. Just unscrew this. Let me unscrew this, all these small screws around this monitor. These are tiny screws. It won't take long. The other side. There's one over here. There's one more left. Think there are a few more. I have removed all the screws around this monitor, and there were several big screws as well. So uh, these are the parts, piece by piece, and. Let me show you the Let me show you the things I need. First you'll find a black color I'll have to remove this black plastic. This is the first part is a black color special plastic and I can use this as a backdrop and you can use this as a backdrop for macro photography or any other tabletop photography just hang it below your subject and now these are very interesting materials this is the garbage There are several sheets behind this. There are several sheets behind this black color plastic. This is the most important item I use for macro photography. This is a diffuser material. I'll show you in a minute.
There is another diffuser material. There is another diffuser plastic. And this one is a white reflector board. I can use all of these materials for my tabletop macro photography. I'll explain one by one. Just give me a minute. Let me show you one by one of these materials. This is the first one. This is a white diffuser. You can see I'm pushing a light through it. You can see this. This is diffusing the light first first time. This is the first this is the first layer of diffuser material, this white plastic. You see how good is it is? So you can use this white plastic or diffuser material for your subject illumination from the back or you can pass the flashlight through this so that you can have a nice diffusion of light. And this is the second layer of diffuser material. These are fantastic material. You can see. Beautiful diffusion material. And there is another one, a little bit thick. This is another diffusion plastic for light. So these monitors use all the three diffusion material all together for making a for making best diffusion for light LED lights inside this uh, monitor. You see, I'm pushing it back, and when I bring the light back, it gives a white, beautiful illumination, and the diffusion depends on the distance between the light source and the diffusion material. In three days time, I'll be demonstrating, in three days time, I'll be demonstrating practically on my tabletop studio back in my home, how to use this material for, uh, I'll make some radiant diffuser with this material and I'll show you uh, in three days time. So all these diffusion materials, as well as this plastic sheet, you can use for tabletop photography. If you like my techniques, if you like my DIY projects, I have plenty of uh, videos in my channel. I have uploaded, I have uploaded plenty of videos on my on uh, making process of radiant diffuser and other light sources for my tabletop photography as well as outdoor. If you like my techniques, if you like my videos, if you like my channel, please subscribe, press the bell icon for my upcoming projects. Thank you for watching until the end. Bye bye.